When Dean and Jennifer Moe moved into their new home, they were told that the previous tenants left because of the house. The Moes couldn't understand why, but soon they found out. At first, everything was normal. The house appeared normal. Um, there really was nothing unusual. 521 was the new home of the Moe family. Dean and Jennifer moved their nine children across the state of Oregon to pastor a church. But as time went on, after the first couple of weeks, it, our children started coming to me, um, asking me what, what I wanted. They'd ask me, um, why do you call me mom? Why do you keep calling my name? And it wouldn't be me. It wouldn't be me that had, had called them to me. Like we would get told to do stuff, and then we would do it. Like mom asked us for ice water, and then we went and gave her ice water, and she said, thank you, but she didn't ask for it. Dean tried to protect his family from what he thought was a physical being. Then as time went on, I'd be laying there in bed and it, I would hear what sounded like somebody coming up the steps from the basement when we didn't have anybody downstairs. And I was concerned, first of all, that we might have had an intruder in the house. So I'd jump out of bed and go grab something and then open up the door of the basement. There wouldn't be anybody there. 14-year-old Charles felt like he was being watched when he went down to the basement. I was putting a box of Christmas stuff inside there and then the door slammed and I was trying to get out. I couldn't get out, it was shut, it wouldn't open. It felt like it was locked. At that point I knew, I knew that it was a demon presence in our house. Um, none of our kids would go downstairs without having the upstairs door open and you had to stand there at that doorway and watch for them and wait so that they could shout to you if they needed you to come back upstairs. They would sleep in our room actually on our floor at one point or in the living room floor. They wouldn't even go into bedrooms and sleep. They wanted to be that close to mom and dad. Eventually Jennifer couldn't sleep at night either. Where I'd be asleep and Usually there would just be a flash of light that would flash into my face and that would wake me up and there'd either be somebody's face in my face or somebody at the end of the bed or somebody in the hall that I could see or, um, or music, just strange music that would play that, um, in the middle of the night. Dean and Jennifer fasted and prayed over this supernatural activity in their home for almost a year when Jennifer hit her breaking point. I was watching 700 Club. I do it most days. I put it on as I clean my room, and that's when Pat Robertson had a word of knowledge about it. So there's somebody being tormented by demonic spirits. You're tormented. You can't sleep. You're, you're, you're seeing uh, sort of hallucinations, and you, you, you can't get free, and you literally feel you're going out of your mind. In the name of Jesus, we bind that spirit of torment, and we cast it forth in Jesus' name. Be free from this moment on. I claimed that at that point for our family, and it left that day. It was almost like a temper tantrum that it had on its way out, where it flung all the books around off of one of his bookcases. It's all gone. So definitely a house set free. And when I came home, everybody was more relaxed. The children were just um, more playful. Uh, just everything in the house felt so much better. And, and just that tension had been released. Just reiterates over and over again the power of our God um, compared to Satan. I mean, he's still, regardless of anything that he tries or anything he does, Satan is definitely in subjection to our God. Greater is he that is in, in me than he that is in the world. It's absolutely a true statement. It's absolutely true. He's also in subjection to us. If you're a believer, here's what Jesus did. and You can find it in Luke chapter 10 where he says, behold, and he's saying it to his disciples, behold, I give you all authority over the power of the evil one. All authority. And we get to exercise that authority. If you're in a similar situation, just you saw the prayer my father made. That is the prayer of authority. We bind you and we cast you out. This isn't something where you have to beg and plead. This isn't something where you have to look for more from God. 
Take the authority given to you by Jesus Christ. Now, he, he echoes it again in the Great Commission. All authority in heaven and earth has been given unto me. And then he says, you go. Therefore, go ye in all the world. Preach the good news. Now, at the end of the Gospel of Mark, 16th chapter, we get to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. We get to cast out demons. We get to cleanse lepers. We have all of this authority resident within us. We just have to realize it. And when we realize it, then incredible things happen. Paul realized it. Peter realized it. You realize it. That same Jesus that was in Paul is in you. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And all authority in heaven and earth has been given to him. And you get the rare privilege of being his ambassador, his messenger, his agent here on earth, his hands extended. You get to have the same authority. Now, we're going to pray. Before we pray, we want to encourage you with some other people who have had the authority of God come to them. Here's uh, Yvonne of uh, Hurricane, Utah. Working as a caregiver, she twisted and injured her back last May. Deep pain radiated around her right side. She believed that one day a word of knowledge from the 700 Club would come. And then, Terry, you had this word. You have deep pain in the lower part of your back. It radiates around to the sides. You've had it for some time. You're just going to feel a warmth come into your body. And it's going to be gone, just like that. <laughs> well, upon hearing it, Yvonne said, that's me. She felt the warmth. The pain left immediately. That can happen to you. This is Mary. She lives in Oklahoma City. She had kidney disease. It had progressed to what doctors called end stage. Dialysis was ordered until she could get a transplant. One day she's watching this program. You had a word of knowledge about someone with chronic kidney disease. And you said, you're looking at transplant options and having lots of discussions with doctors. God wants to have a discussion with you right now. He's saying you're healed and your kidneys are going to work normally. Go back and get retested. You don't need surgery. Well, Mary claimed that word. She did go back to the doctor. The test showed still a progressive kidney disease, but she had normal <laughs> kidney function and output. Doctors were baffled, said they didn't understand how this was happening, but since she's symptom-free, she doesn't need dialysis, she doesn't need the transplant. <laughs> Let's pray. That same thing can happen to you. Just believe. Let's just together command. Use the authority given to you as a believer in Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and take command Thanks. now. Lord God, we just come to you and right now we just mm -hmm. join in an agreement and together we say out loud, we bind you and we cast you out now. And we speak to spirits of torment, spirits of infirmity. All the power of the enemy right now, we bind it in people's lives. And we cast it from them now in the name of Jesus. There's a man you're watching and you just felt something tighten mm -hmm. and like a, a convulsion go through your uh, abdomen and you are now free from that in Jesus name mm -hmm. in Jesus name you're free and that will never come back again mm. Terry you there's can... someone else you have a frozen pelvic girdle I don't know what's happened to you or why you have that condition but you, have, you can't turn freely from side to side or bend God is totally loosening that up for you right now just feel that warmth and receive it there are many people who just got set free from chronic migraine headaches um, several who've also been released from deep depression. Just be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. If you've been touched by God, we want to share in your good reports, so call us. 1-800-759-0700. We leave you these words from Jesus. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. God bless you. I have the privilege.